Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7. So you guys have requested it and we are here. We are going to be having more daily episodes of Wolf Quest. I am so excited that you guys want to see where the Eclipse Moon Pack goes. You are ready to see the birth of the second litter. You are ready to see some of the new dens. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to have a couple more litters with Eclipse and Twilight and then we will have the great voting to see which of the puppies that they have survive should carry on the next generation. But we're still quite a ways away from that so I want to dive in and start looking for the den that we are going to have our second litter at but before we do that I wanted to show you guys something really cool about Wolf Quest 2.7 that I had no idea about that one of you actually showed me last night so it turns out if you load up the game so you're here on the main screen and then you go down to your account setting down here you actually activate your game using the activation key that is sent to you on your unique download page when you buy the game and once you do that you unlock so many things you unlock so many things look at all this look at all this you unlock achievements you get a little friends list so you can add different people in as friends you can create packs which I'm just like what that's amazing you can send messages to people which is just like what that is so cool and this is very useful especially for those of us who are trying to keep up to date on patches trying to figure out when or where they might have additional levels because some of you are really adamant like yeah there's gonna be four levels another of you are like no I'm active on the forums and they say that unless this sells well there was not going to be any more pieces to wolf quest so it's just so much is going on that it's really nice to get some of the official news so like little information about the kinds of issues that might be solved in certain patches or when patches are released what performances have been increased just a little welcome to wolf quest so it's really fun to see how the wolf quest producers are sending out messages I really like that in a game, especially one that looks like it might be constantly updated because then we get to know what's going to happen and we get to know what might change about this. So that made me really happy. The messages and friends thing made me kind of happy because I was like, oh, that's really cool. So, you know, maybe you can like make friends with other people who play Wolf Quest and build a pack with them. Like apparently you can just like create this pack and then I guess like add your friends to that pack. So that's pretty interesting. And this is what I'm really, really, really excited about though, is the fact that there's a bunch of missions and different achievements and actions and places that you can unlock. And I really, really, really love those kinds of things. I'm a big like achievement lover. I really love details. I really love like having that one little minute challenge to adventure to the far corner of a map just so you can have that additional achievement in your your adorable like little achievement list. So I'm pretty happy about this. So what we have right here are some of the achievements that we're going to try to shoot for. Some of them I might not get until like a long time has passed because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit nervous because there's some of them like over here lose your life at the cattle ranch I don't know if I want to actually get killed at the cattle ranch so I'm not sure when we might unlock that little mission but there's also things like charmless get rejected by a potential mate happy together get a mate no place like home choose a den that's definitely something that we can do mine all mine mark your territory in the creek because I said so finish Training your pups. Nobody messes with me. Finish defending your den. The Ranch Bandit. And this is actually one of the things that we are probably going to try with our second litter with Eclipse and Twilight is to go over to the farm in order to eat some of the cows that are over there instead of just hunting the elk. And that is because we just finished up the Lost River map. And that was really fun to be in a human area that had no humans. And now it would be kind of interesting to be in a wild area that has humans that are there with their cattle and just see how that relationship might go. I hear that that is where you can get the bark bark bang is that the dogs who guard the cattle will alert the farmer you're there and then the farmer will come and shoot you. So you want to move quickly and you want to be careful. So we'll kind of look at this. We'll see if we have any success with it or if it's just way too dangerous. Ready for a journey? Finish feeding and growing your pups. Survival of the pack. Bring your pups to the rendezvous site. Oh, French is not my favorite language because I have such difficulty saying it. Um, that was a squeaker. Reach the site with one pup on easy. And then there was one. Reach the site with one pup on challenging. The lucky one. Reach the site with one pup on arduous. Last pup standing. Reach the site with one pup on bring it on. So I think you, I wonder if you get that if you have more than one pup. I'm pretty sure you could probably get that if you have more than one pup. 
uh, a howling success. Reach, oh, this is with all four. So either with a one or with a four. And then one big happy is multiplayer. Re raise your pups and take them to the site. So there's all sorts of just different achievements. All sorts of, ooh, look at that. You get all sorts of points for like killing coyote, tired of elk meat, a bullseye if you kill a bull elk, a defender in chief, the, a mighty wolf encounter, a strange wolf, an error in ju judgment, lose your life to a grizzly bear. Oh my gosh, bad parent, a pup dies of hunger. Oh dear, well I guess we'll know if one of our pups starved to death if we get that achievement. That would be like really sad. Oh and here we go. So here is the information about how to unlock the puppies that we, like the secret little extra Easter eggs. Secret hideaway, earn 7,500 experience points to unlock the secret den. Fairest of them all, earn 15,000 experience points to unlock a white puppy. So those are the two things that we would have needed to do in order to have the fourth den unlocked and to have a white puppy be born in our pack. Um, let's see, win 50 encounters with a stranger wolf Interesting. Wow, fearless chase away 50 grizzly bears. Wow, can you imagine you guys? At this rate, one day we will fill all of these up. That'll be pretty amazing. So you sent view, yeah. And then places. Now these are gonna be pretty interesting too because this is going to be a great way to try to just go through and discover discover everything. Oh, look at you can get the Grand Tour. Get all the achievements in Lost River. Oh, we're gonna have to go back to Lost River in the future. That's gonna be so fun. How about we go back to Lost River when we have the third generation, when we've got one of Eclipse or Twilight's pups and we can send them to Lost River. That would be pretty cool. Find all human traces on Amethyst Mountain. Under the Broken Tree. Just a pile of rocks. Ooh, so we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of things to play with. Visit the Lost River Fire Tower, a spot of comfort, home on the range, unauthorized. To the two step. Oh, that was the waterfall we missed at Lost River. Oh wow. Yeah, lose something. There's a boot on Amethyst Mountain apparently. Smelly leather. Find the boot. There's a boot in the creek. I want to find the boot in the creek. We might look for the boot in the creek today. So basically, those are the achievements. Let me know which ones you think would be really fun to start chasing down. But for now, we are going to go ahead and have the second litter with Eclipse and Twilight. And many of you are wondering, how do we have that second litter? Well, all we do is we go to Load Save Games. And I go back to when Eclipse was at the creek and that that level started and then what we do is we pretend that it is the next year the puppies have either died or they have gone uh, on their way to be dispersal wolves and we are going to have a second letter now so let's dive on Look, i really want to find that boot now i'm really curious about where is the boot hiding survival of the pack and now it is time to pass on our genetics but we're going to be looking around Ooh, look at this achievement unlocked under the fir tree so we're at the Bison Peak Den right here because that is when we were deciding on picking a den. Oh, that's so fun. We unlocked our first achievement. All right, Twilight, we've got a lot to do. All right, so we're looking for a den. And this time around, I'm thinking we might pick the Aspen Heights Den because over here is where like in the summer, the farmer is supposed to show up and he's supposed to settle down here with his cattle and they're supposed to run around in the upland meadows. So we're gonna start working our way over there, but I wanna visit the Lone Tree and kind of loop around to get there because I think that the Lone Tree might be an achievement. We're gonna see. All right, come on, Twilight. Oh, this is so exciting. We now have like achievements and things to get. Let's go hunting, Twilight. We need to go hunting and like find an elk and then maybe we'll be able to like unlock another another cool thing. Ooh, are we in elk territory now? We are. Oh, let's look for the elk really quickly. Because we are just a tiny bit hungry. Oh, look at Twilight. Man, isn't she just beautiful? I love the little red orange patches she's got on her sides. She's really quite the beautiful mate. Ooh. What spells? Unlock your, or use your scent view. So cool. There's no scent. Where are my elk? I'm hungry. Where are elk? We need to get, I think we're in the wrong, the wind is in the wrong direction for us to be able to find our elk. Are they hiding from us? Yeah, I think we're, we're upwind. So they might be able to scent, uh, like smell our scent. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? Oh, elk, elk, elk. Is it getting fainter though? Or stronger? I think it's getting fainter, Twilight. So let's go this way. All right, so yep, it looks like it's getting a little stronger. Elk, old scent perhaps? Looks like it's getting stronger. 
We're going through. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. The elk should be right ahead. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, there we go. It's just so beautiful to see these two, like, roaming across the fields. All right, so let's just come right up. Come on, let's sneak. All right, there. Perfect. Perfect cow elk. We know what to do. Oops, let's avoid that one. Not that one, Twilight. Not that one. We want this one. Oh, I hope she follows us. Come on, Twilight. Come on, Twilight. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're taking her down so quickly. Come on, down you go, Hulk. Sorry, sorry, it's survival of the fittest. There we go. Natural selection for the win, kill one cow elk. So we are gonna make progress. This is so exciting. I wonder how long it will take us to get all of the achievements. How many achievements have you guys gotten if you've unlocked this? All right, there we go. So we've already got some food, good job. I kind of want to rush them just one more time. I wonder, do wolves ever do that? Just like rush the herd? Just to kind of be like, nah, 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 nah. All right, well, let's go back over here. And let's see, where are we going? So we could visit the the den. We can't unlock the den. I wonder, can you unlock the den? So see, we're like 2,000 experience points away from what we would need in order to unlock the fourth den. And for those of you guys who are really savvy at Wolf Quest, do you know if you can unlock the den after you have already entered the creek level? Or do you have to just kind of stay with the three dens that you've already picked? Can you unlock that fourth one while you're in the creek if you just run around and like get a bunch of experience chasing away coyotes and elk and things while it's winter? Because if we can do that, we might have a fourth litter. We might have a litter, one litter at each den with our puppies and just see how that goes. So let's come up here and we'll see if we unlock any any special achievement for being able to explore up this way. And I want to find that boot. That would be really fun to find the boot. Do we get anything for being here? Nope. I think it's like, I don't recognize that you're up here. That's okay. All right, well, let's run down here. We've got full stomachs because we just took on... Just took on those elk. Though I have to admit, I kind of liked our first den spot compared to this one. Because this is really steep. Can you imagine if the puppies just decided to be silly and like roll down the hill? Wander down here? Even the adult dogs kind of have some issues. I'm glad it seems like it's easier to get in and out of the rivers than it used to be though. Because <laughs> I think that those are some of Luna and Sol's worst memories from our very first pack. When they would get stuck in the river. Because that was just miserable. It was just, you'd get stuck forever and it was such a pain. What on earth? Oh, it's just a little cluster of trees. I'm so excited to just try to like find all of the little things. Is that the lone tree over there? It's the lone tree! Man, he's kind of far away. That's kind of going to take a little while to run over to. And there's not really anything in between us and it. There you go, Twilight. But actually, I love seeing their paw prints. It's just very beautiful just to watch them run across the snow. And that's one of the things I really love about watching wild animals is that they're always usually on the move, depending on the, the animal, of course. But wolves or uh, like the big cats, well, mostly some of the lions just spend like most of their day sleeping, <laughs> depending on when they last ate. But if you watch the wild animals, they're constantly moving. Like look at the albatross thousands, ten, like just tens of thousands if they're really old, of miles that they cover flying over the sea. Or even the humble little hummingbird might fly all the way from like Canada in some cases down to the Caribbean. And those kinds of like long distance travel, that's just the way of life for the animals. It always just really impresses me. All right, let's come over here. All right, we're almost there, Twilight. We're almost there. Let's walk for a second to regain some stamina. And I wonder if we get an achievement for coming to the, the Lone Tree. If not, that's okay. We might just swing on up through the elk area. And we might poke the, the little den that's over here. I kind of want the Aspen Den because it's the furthest away. And I think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get our puppies from the Aspen Den over to the summer hunting grounds. All right, Lone Tree. Do you have an achievement? No. No, but you're a very cool Lone Tree. All right, well, I really like the tree. And should we just turn around now? Let's just pop up. We'll just really quickly see if we can get any food from the elk that are over here. And we'll pop up to the other den to unlock that achievement. And then we will head to our new den site and get ready to have the second litter. Get ready to have more puppies. All right, let's go. 
any elk? Hmm. No scent here. I think there was some elk back here though. No, that was just left over. Our nose was still smelling things from the other area. And I've noticed that happens sometimes. So if you load scent dew in for like half a second. Oh, what? Look at that, look at that, that's so cool. They're coming up out of the water. Isn't that the coolest? Oh my gosh. You know what this reminds me of? When we tried to pin down those elk and we couldn't quite get them. We couldn't quite get that female elk in Lost River who managed, whoa, not you. No, this one, this one, Twilight, this one. This one right here. All right, go ahead, get in the river, you. Hopefully I can chase you down easier that way. Oh, she's faster than us in the water. She has longer legs. <laughs> go, Twilight, go. I'm gonna walk after you so I can get some stamina back really quickly. All right, and let's keep going. There we go. All right, full stamina. We're ready to recover. I'm sorry, female elk. This is this is natural selection doing its best right here. Hey, 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 don't kick my mate. Don't kick me either. All right, there we go. And we've got a little bit of food again and 100 more experience points. So that's going to be interesting. And we have taken down another female elk. So as time goes on, hopefully we will be able to... I mean, I wonder what would happen if we took down a bull elk, like, during the puppy stage. It would be really dangerous to leave our puppies alone that long, but can you imagine... Wait, is that a boot? Is that a boot? It's a boot! I found the boot! I am so excited right now! I can't believe I'm so excited! I actually found the boot! That's really, really, really wanted to do, is I wanted to find the boot. Aww. Well, I'm glad that that happened. <laughs> All right, and let's come up and take a peek at this den, which is gonna be like, am I even headed in the right direction yet? Is it down here? There we go. Den's gonna be on, oh, it's on the wrong hill. I'm on the wrong hill. So there we go. Let's come over here. And I don't think this is the den we want. Saddle Meadows. Maybe we'll take this den now, actually, because Aspen Heights is going to be a really hard den. So, yeah, maybe we'll take Saddle Meadows as the den for now, and then we'll take Aspen Heights next time, because we can still swing up to the, um, the farmland from Saddle Meadows here. So I think we'll take this den this time. Yay! This was my favorite den with Luna and Soul, because I actually managed to have all the puppies survive. <laughs> it was much easier this way. So let's go ahead and find our new den site. We should be coming up close to it in just a second. Do, do, do. At least I think so. Is it up here? I'm trying to remember. Ah, there it is. There it is. Here's our new den, you guys. All right. We found it. Let's come up to it. Yay, achievement unlocked. Awesome. And we are going to make this our den. So, all right. There we go. So many achievements unlocked. So exciting. But, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow because we are going to be having our puppies in just a second. And it's going to be so exciting. Oh, I can't wait. And as usual, I have a gigantic list of names to pick from. I think it's going to be generations of wolves before I'm able to use everybody's name suggestions. And I can never guarantee, like, if it's going to be a boy or a girl for some of the names that kind of lean more towards one name like one gender than the other so i don't know what kind of puppies we're gonna have but i do have a list of names i use a random generator to pick from them so like don't worry if your name isn't picked there's always future puppies and i will see you guys next time Bye bye